Next concept is Poisson's ratio. So what is this Poisson's ratio? In the childhood, we have a, such a game that a wire which was taken in two hands. If we try to extend in opposite directions, okay, the length will increase. But in the middle, you will see the change in the diameter of the body. That means this is the wire has some length L. The tensile stress, nothing but the two equal forces on opposite ends are applied to extend it. So this is one force applied. This is also one force applied. This is the body. When our two forces are applied on either ends, the body's length will increase. At the same time, the inner diameter will decrease. There is a change in the inner diameter. So the change in this inner diameter with respect to their original diameter is called lateral strain. The new diagram will be like this after the force applied. This is the expansion. This is the expansion. In the middle, the diameter will change. It may change a little bit. This portion. Because of the force applied, there is a longitudinal strain. And at the same time, there is a lateral strain. If length is increasing, diameter is decreasing. If two physical quantities are inversely proportional to each other, we should keep the negative symbol. So, the change in diameter by original diameter is equal to minus delta d by d. This is called lateral strain. This lateral strain is directly proportional to the longitudinal strain, which is applied on either ends. Lateral strain is directly proportional to longitudinal strain. The ratio between the lateral strain to the longitudinal strain is called Poisson's ratio. Therefore, lateral strain by longitudinal strain. is equal to Poisson's ratio. Therefore, Poisson's ratio sigma is equal to lateral strain that means minus delta d by d whole divided by delta L by L. So it is minus delta D by D into L by delta L. This is the formula to find out the Poisson's ratio. The theoretical limits of Poisson's ratio is minus 1 to half. Practical limits is 0 to half. Like the previous modulus elasticities, like Young's modulus, bulk modulus, and uh, like that, Poisson's ratio also 
one of the unitless and dimensionless modulus of elasticity. So it is unitless and dimensionless quantity. This is the information about the Poisson's ratio. Now this Poisson's ratio is related to the remaining moduli of elasticity. Now we will see that relation. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.